Coming up, a look inside of this year's opening session and the first late-breaking science of this year's event. And the Science and Technology Hall is now open for business. That and plenty more next on AHA TV. I'm Arnold Davick with AHA TV. This year's scientific sessions is in full swing, bringing together all the attendees to the main event hall this morning for the opening sessions, where attendees were officially welcomed to this year's conference with opening remarks from 2023 conference chair, Dr. Ahmed Kara. I'm so excited to welcome you all to this conference. On behalf of the committee, we want to ensure that each of you has an amazing experience over the next three days. We consider you to be our guests. And since this meeting offers so many exciting opportunities, it's really important to us that you all get the most out of it. We want this to be a really enriching experience, and dare I say, even a little fun. This year, we have over 700 educational sessions and more than 4,000 abstracts that are being presented. And we have attendees from more than 90 countries. I hope you take advantage of the many opportunities to learn and to connect with your colleagues. Awards were also given out and this year's distinguished scientists were recognized. Following the opening remarks, the first late-breaking science of the conference took place, focusing on obesity and how we can achieve equity to optimize cardiovascular health. It's important to incorporate our public health and policy interventions, but also, again, take a patient-centered approach to the, the treatment of obesity, where we address weight stigma and bias, where we expand access to tools across the treatment continuum, and where we build interdisciplinary teams that involve care coordination across specialists, but also address social needs that limit access to care. After the session, the Science and Technology Hall welcomed attendees for the first time this year with the latest technologies and biggest names all in one place at this year's conference. It's just so nice to see all of the hundreds and thousands of people who are supporting the American Heart Association and, and not only as first timers, but what we saw in the morning session was that there are people who have come here five years, 10 years, 20 years, who are coming back year after year. It's really beautiful. Um, everyone is so excited and the environment is so nice. I think I'm looking more into kind of fitting into early career or getting into mentorship and engaging into um, research projects and, and academic and exploring this field more. A lot of the other conferences can be um, sort of very specially specific, specific and you end up in a, um, you could end up in an, an echo chamber and with AHA you have such a diverse group of clinicians, scientists, researchers, support staff and and advanced practitioners and uh, of all different places and, and disciplines, and getting that all together can create uh, such wonderful science and collaboration. There's also hands-on learning opportunities for attendees in the newly expanded simulation zone. This area provides interactive, personalized learning for those in critical care and interventional cardiology. You can touch the device and check it yourself, and if you have questions, you can ask the like, specialist in person. Well, uh, if you just listen to the talk, you might have a lot of questions, but you don't have your hands on the uh, instrument yourself, and you, you cannot ask uh, the questions on the spot. So I think this is much better than listening to a talk just you know, about the instrument. The American Heart Association is the trusted resource for healthcare organizations. We bring together gold standard science with disruptive technology to help improve patient outcomes, reduce readmissions, ensure health equity, address disparities in care, and contain costs. We foster a community dedicated to achieving the highest standards of competence and confidence. Our partners benefit from it and contribute to it. Among the learning and networking, a chance for some competition among those in attendance with this year's Health Tech Competition, where innovators present new technology focused on health impact and sustainability. Stay tuned to AHA TV, where we'll announce the winners of this year's competition.
There have been long-standing and persistent racial and ethnic disparities in cardiovascular disease and stroke mortality. Since the 1980s, there has also been widening disparities in cardiovascular disease mortality, stroke mortality, and maternal mortality in rural counties versus urban counties. This main event session focused on the medical community's role in moving health equity and social justice forward and how we can improve both urban and rural health. Uh, there's an excess death uh, amongst particularly certain minority groups, uh, black men and women in particular, uh, and they relate to cardiovascular disease. And so it's really critical that we, as a series of partners, whether it's American Heart Association, the NIH, the federal government, the private sector, patients, providers, communities, work together to see how we can be ensure that the, the, the science reaches all communities, particularly those who are most vulnerable. Cardiovascular disorders, including heart failure and arrhythmias, are linked to genetic influence. This year's Distinguished Scientist Lecture with Professor Elizabeth McNally discussed the role genetics has in identifying cardiovascular issues and recovering from them. Many people have participated in different types of DNA queries, if you will. So sometimes that's 23andMe or Ancestry.com, and sometimes it's formal genetic testing. We definitely have a population that's interested in it, and that information can be used to better identify who's at risk for things. And of course, in cardiology, we're so good at risk management. Be sure to stop by the Lexicon Pharmaceuticals booth this week at number 3037 where you'll find free copies of abstracts of all this year's sessions on a USB. That's just a taste of what's to come here in Philadelphia this week. There is more learning and networking on the horizon here at the 2023 Scientific Session. So make sure to follow us on social media. We'll have all the latest updates from this conference as well as highlights on all the excitement happening here in the city of brotherly love. I'm your host, Arnold Davick.